now that we finally caught up, there's a lot less news to talk about. Yay! After giving Nadia a lot of grief last week for trying to do the news sitting down, this was the only way to get rid of the glare in the glasses. I'm very frustrated, let's get started! Like I said, there's not that many stories, but they're pretty good. So how about this for example? Red has introduced a new sensor, the Gemini 5K. This is their low light centric sensor, and it has dual sensitivity modes. Wait a second, Gemini? Gemini... Red is making a custom Super 35-ish low light camera for a very special customer. Newshooter.com seems to believe that this special someone is Elon Musk. Only five of these were made and they've all been sold. So will we ever hear more about this super limited model? Who knows? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Anyways, in standard mode, according to Red, it has 16.5 stops of dynamic range at a base ISO of 800. In low light mode, which is more than a quick setting change, Red says the sensor fundamentally changes how light is being captured. A couple of things happened. One, you lose two stops of dynamic range on your highlights, but you gain them back on your shadows. There is an overall loss of dynamic range, but Red says it's not significant. Number two, although it's not explicitly specified, I believe your base ISO becomes 3200, and Red claims that you'll get the same amount of noise, or lack of, at 3200 in this mode than you would at 800 ISO in standard mode. That's really significant, and quite impressive. You can pick up a new Gemini for $24,500, or upgrade your weapon or Epic W to Gemini for $4,950. Speaking of incredible low light performance, many people speculate that the new $2,000 25 megapixel A7 III has a lower noise in pictures than the now $2,400 12 megapixel A7S II. Pretty much the king of low light for... whoa. It's going to be three years old in October now. Anyways, DxOMark has published the results of their technical test for the A7 III, and it is now the full frame king of low light, as many people speculate. Talk about racing the VAR for entry level. On a side note, Sony, where are the S3 at? While I impatiently wait for the S3 to be announced, there are many awaiting for Canon to announce its first full frame mirrorless camera. Sony said it'll happen this year, and now we have rumors from good sources suggesting that a prototype is already in the wild and being tested by professionals. If this is true, it seems Canon really wants to get this right. By getting a lot of input from actual pros, and assuming Canon scales the features in their current mirrorless cameras, they have a pretty good chance of releasing something really cool. A lot of their success will depend on lenses and how they plan to deal with that whole ordeal. We'll just have to wait and see. But speaking of Canon, you know the iPhone shutter sound, or even when you take a screenshot, that sound. Apparently, that's a recording of a Canon AE-1. This and many other of Apple's iconic sounds were recorded by Jim Reeks, a sound designer for Apple many years ago. He has a lot of interesting stories about all the sounds he created. If you're interested in the full interview, links will be in the description. One of the funnier things he mentions was that even now he thinks that someone stole his camera every time he hears that shutter sound, which is pretty often probably. And for our last main story, we have a more serious topic. Whitney Morris, a Atlanta-based real estate photographer, was asked to photograph a home on February 1st. However, Morris requested a reschedule and he got an email confirmation for a new date, February 2nd at 9 a.m. So that morning, after taking the key out of the lockbox real estate listings usually have, Morris made his way into the house and was surprised to hear an alarm go off. There was no code for the alarm inside the lockbox and shortly after entering the home, he was shot. It turns out Belinda Brooks, the homeowner, was home that morning and had no idea that someone had been scheduled to go photograph the property. Upon hearing the alarm, she ran to her bedroom where she grabbed her pistol and shot through the bedroom door without warning. One of the shots made contact with Morris, but luckily it was not fatal. Morris is now suing both the agency he worked for and Brooks for accounts of negligence, citing personal injuries and loss of income due to it. Brooks has stated that she thought it was an intruder and was just trying to defend herself. In any case, if you're a real estate photographer yourself, I guess you probably shouldn't assume no one's home. Always knock and then announce yourself before entering. You can never be too safe. And with that, we'll turn to short stories. Wooden Camera has released the SIP Follow Focus, designed for smaller compact cameras. It has a gear ratio of 1 to 1 and mounts on a single 15 or 19mm rod. Oh, and it's $4.99. Rig Wheels 
has released a slingshot upgrade to their cloud mount system that tends to be used when the camera is being underslug and it is quite diverse and adjustable. New Shooter has an article showcasing and comparing a lot of smartphone gimbals. That's not news, but it does give me a chance to talk about something that is. And I've seen no article on this, but Mosa has released a newest addition to their gimbal line, the Mini Me. Details are in this comparison down below. Speaking of smartphones, Unfurl has a new light for iOS shooters. It has Bluetooth capabilities and it's pretty small. And finally, there's more rumors about the alleged entry-level GoPro that we talked about at some point. <laughs> Presumably, it'll be officially announced on the 30th. And that's it. See? Short and sweet. But if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you want more information of any of the topics we talked about today, uh, check the description box. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of the latest news as soon as they roll out. And as always, thank you for watching. We will be back on Saturday unless plans fall apart because normally they do. Oh well. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is 11 o'clock. I have work in the morning and I need to get this up somehow before then. <sighs>